So the Arnett Garden starting 11, Eric Edwards, Ezran Simpson, Earl Simpson, Gerald Neal Jr., O'Neill Anderson, Shandy James, Romeo Guthrie, Kimani Arboyne, Marlon Allen, Ronaldo Cephas, and Ajuma Johnson Dwight. Yeah, and this team, uh, coached by Tika Davis, 4-3-3, are really in a rich vein of form. Just one loss in their 11th game played uh, recently, and Cephas and Auburn in great form. Benjamin Williams, Alvin Myers, Emilio Rousseau, Siegel Knight, Kenny Charleston, the Haitian, DeAndre Cunningham, Teje Brown, Gawain Austin, Shavoy Watkins, Shavon McDonald, and Aaron Elliott for Portmore. Yeah, this Portmore team, Coach Hyde said their mentality has to improve because for this one, it's very, very important for them to get some points. Really struggling for consistency. Table going into the clash, uh, reminding you that Vera United and Molines drew 1-1 earlier today and Mobe United were beaten again, beaten by Don Beholden. Don Beholden's goal coming from the boot of Peter McGregor on the stroke of half time. So it's a case, a clash of third on at Gardens versus seventh, Fort Moore United. 11 kid me for a minute there, producer. They were assaulting me when I spoke about the man of the match. Anyway, these are full match highlights. We started on the bright sun, well, on the overcast skies, which became bright sunshine. Then the rains came, then the light went. More on that in the second half. This is a Juma Johnson who had an excellent game, created a lot for his strikers, but they couldn't find a finish in the first half. Got up, uh, first lifting his shot high, a bubble at the wrong moment. He played this short to Johnson, and he'll whip a tremendous cross in for Ezra and Simpson, and Earl Simpson with the flick didn't make good connection. Reverse angle of that play. Rousseau from free kick range. And then Ajuma Johnson heading this one off the right upright. Could have been an own goal. Arnett Gardens lucky in that moment. And then look at this. Watkins pass. Austin steps on the ball. Closed on by Shandy James. Benjamin Williams did very well twice appear in the frame again the goalkeeper because Arboin sits up stands up the cross Williams got there Myers off the line and then Watkin putting his body on the line to prevent the overhead kick from Ronaldo Cephas but at every instance Portmore contesting it nothing easy for Arnett Garns nothing free no free attempt and they fought tooth and nail the St. Catherine boys to keep their sheet clean then Allen into the path of Cephas. He'll check inside, right footed shot. Easy for Williams. That was towards the end of the first half. Second half, watch Ezra and Simpson will slide through on the ankle. That in slow motion was very nasty. And not even the Arnett Gardens fans protested. Ezra and Simpson though was very upset. And then look at this, Arnett down to 10 men at this point. Guthrie, the captain. Captain fantastic on this play to Arboin. Takes it back. Releases Allen. Allen takes takes forever, it seemed. And then through the legs of Benjamin Williams, the great striker, the Brazilian Ronaldo, said the keeper's most vulnerable point is when you play the ball between his legs. And that's what Allen did. Waited until the last moment to shoot. By that time, Bailey Drubin Williams could do nothing with the placement of the effort. And the 10 men of Arnett Gardens find the lead. Marlon Allen finds the finish. And in his celebration, he put so much energy into it. He went off injured, replaced by Fabian Reed. Then Watkins, Watkin rather, a tremendous pass. But look about the touch. Look at the first touch from Kenny Charleston. And then look at the finish. Almost like a corkscrew finish. Just slashing across the ball, cutting across it. Trying to just spin it away from Eric Edwards. And everything he intended, Kenny Charleston, happened after that magnificent first touch. That's a beautiful goal. Worthy of the biggest stages, illuminating them. And he certainly illuminated tonight with that. But then Arnett, still with the 10 men, came back. The rain with us, heavy. The fans running for cover. Ajuma Johnson manufactures a cross that Ronaldo Sifa steers away from Benjamin Williams. That's how the junglists found the lead once again. Ajuma Johnson played a blinder. Attacking so many chances he created, and he had to wait until the second half for one of them to be finished by that man Cephas. He is a star in these parts, it's a team of stars, but he is the most coveted, the most appreciated right now. So, the numbers from the game 
12 shots overall, 7 by Arnold Garns. There were 7 on target, 4 by the home team, 19 fouls, 10 committed by Portmore, 4 yellow cards, 3 uh, to Portmore United, 1 red card. That's Ezra Simpson, the Arnold Garns centre half, who was sent off. 3 offside calls, all against Portmore. An even split on the corners, an even split on the saves. And Arnold had 52% possession. Dwight Jeremiah is with the Arnold Garns captain, Romeo Guthrie, the man of the match tonight. Romeo. A very good performance from your team. It went down a, a player uh, pretty much in this game. Had to play a long spell of it with 10. As a skipper too, uh, the mentality, was there any point in this game where you felt that you were just going to try and take a point from it? Um, honestly, no. I swear, um, we stick to the game, point, um, game plan from get-go. Honestly, we did this before early in the season where we played with nine men and get you a victory. So. We just kept, kept working in the game and just continue to proceed to our game plan and it come out well. Your part in the goal, you played a very important part in that first goal. Was a part of the first play, passed it into our boy and then received the pass. Was there any point there where you felt you would have gone for goal yourself? Um, well, um, that's always a first choice, but in this game we have to um, be unselfish and look for a better player in a better position to finish. Having done this tonight, uh, is there the belief now uh, even firmer in you that you can really, as a team, win this title? Yeah, definitely. That's our, that's our motto, right? You. Okay, well, you did well tonight. It was really a good performance from you and your team. All the best. All right, thank you very much. So, uh, Guthrie there, having a very good performance, really uh, was a 